Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. Exam preparation. Here is my mail ID Sunil BSNL JE at the rate of gmail.com. In this video, I am going to discuss control system topics. Nothing but time response analysis. Time response analysis third part. Here uh, standard second order system. San, uh, standard second order system it is a standard second order system it is a open loop transfer function and coming to the closed loop transfer function transfer function equal to output output by input that is c of s by r of s that is nothing but omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square this is a closed loop transfer function uh, here Close the transfer function omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Here omega n is undamped frequency. Omega n is undamped frequency. And this zeta is damping ratio. This zeta is damping ratio. Okay. Here this uh, s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is characteristic equation is called as characteristic equation that is uh, in the uh, denominator s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square equal to 0 is a characteristic equation characteristic equation coming to the uh, roots of this characteristic equation the roots here order is 2 so we have two roots that is s1 comma 2 equal to minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square these are two roots of two roots of this transfer function here the sim in simplified form uh, the roots are equal to minus alpha plus or minus j omega d in simplified form minus alpha plus or minus j omega d here alpha means zeta omega n alpha means alpha equal to zeta omega n and uh, this alpha is called damping factor or damping coefficient or damping constant this alpha is called as damping factor and here omega d is omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square that is nothing but omega d is a damped frequency omega d equal to omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square that is omega d is called as damped frequency and here time constant time constant t equal to 1 by alpha 1 by alpha time constant t equal to 1 by alpha 1 by alpha these uh, formulas are very very important damping factor alpha equal to zeta into omega n and omega n is a undamped frequency and omega d damped frequency equal to omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square zeta square zeta is nothing but damping ratio zeta is nothing but damping ratio and uh, here i am giving uh, systems and their damping ratios and their uh, roots of character characteristic equations and their uh, uh, roots in the s plane first one undamped system first one undamped system undamped there is no damping undamped system that is in this undamped undamped means there is no damping no damping means damping ratio is zero damping ratio zeta equal to zero uh, if you substitute zeta value equal to zero in the second order system we can get uh, we can get the roots are uh, uh, imaginary that is s equal to plus or minus j omega n if we substitute zeta value in the characteristic equation we can get uh, uh, what is characteristic equation s square plus 2 zeta uh, characteristic equation s square plus 2 zeta omega n s s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square equal to 0 this is a characteristic equation this is a characteristic equation this is a characteristic equation if we sub, uh, substitute uh, zeta value in this uh, in this zeta equal to 0 in this value we can get the roots the, the roots are the roots are uh, imaginary imaginary that equal to s equal to plus or minus j omega n they lie in the imaginary axis and coming to the under damped system that is practical system practical practical system is a under damped system for this under damped system the damping ratios are between the damping ratio between 0 to 1 damping ratio is between 0 to 1 very very important each and every line very very important for uh, competitive exams not only for BSNL exam 
these all are uh, very very important uh, for all the PSUs. So if you have notes, it is better. It is very very better. Okay. And coming to the under damper system, it is a practical system. Damping ratio is between uh, zero to one. That means uh, the roots are minus theta omega n plus or minus j omega n into root of one minus theta square. That is roots are complex, complex conjugate. Roots are complex conjugate. They are lie in the uh, imaginary axis. Okay. The these are complex conjugate roots and uh, critically damped system critically for critically damped system zeta equal to 1 very very important for, for critically damped system zeta equal to 1 for undamped system zeta equal to 0 for over damped system zeta values be lies between 0 and 1 for critically damped system zeta equal to 1 if you substitute zeta equal to 1 in characteristic equation this is a characteristic equation characteristic equation substitute z uh, value equal to 1 in characteristic equation we can get uh, uh, roots are minus omega n comma minus omega n that means these are real real and equal here real and equal and coming to the over damped system over damped system zeta value is greater than 1 zeta value is greater than 1 for this uh, roots are real and unequal real and unequal these are uh, real and also and unequal and unequal for under uh, for undamped system roots are imaginary roots for under damped system roots are complex conjugate for critically damped system roots are real and equal for undamped system roots are real and unequal real and unequal next one time domain specifications time domain specifications are transient response parameters transient response parameters this is the uh, system response system response it is a practical system that is nothing but over damper system here uh, this is the td this is tr this is tp and this is uh, mp here uh, plus or minus 5 tolerance band it is uh, plus or minus 2 tolerance band this is the ts and this is the final value 1 final value 1 and this is uh, half of the value 0 0.5 and i will explain each and every term what is td td means delay time td is nothing but delay time delay time here the time taken by the response the time taken by the response to change from 0 to 50 percent of final value 0 to 50 percent of final value once again it is td is nothing but delay time it is time taken by the response to change from 0 to 50 percent of the final value final value this is called uh, delay time Next, TR. TR means rise time. TR means rise time. This is the time. This is the time taken by the taken by the response to uh, to to reach from zero to one. Zero to one means zero to hundred percent. It is the time taken by the response to reach from zero to hundred percent is called rise time. And TP. TP is nothing but peak time. Peak time means it is the time taken by the response to reach the maximum value to reach the maximum value is peak time to reach the maximum value and what is this mp mp is nothing but peak overshoot peak overshoot that is uh, actually the output is actual desired output is one but we here we get more than one that is this is the nothing but error it is a maximum error at the output it is a maximum error at the output nothing but uh, peak overshoot is maximum error at the output okay the desired output is one only final value is one uh, but here here we getting more than one that is this is, uh, this one is error this one is error so mp is nothing but maximum error at the output maximum error at the output next what is ts ts means settling time ts means settling time it is the time taken by the response to reach plus or minus 5 or plus or minus 2 tolerance band plus or minus 5 or plus or minus 2 tolerance band tolerance band and coming to each and every uh, formulas for each and every time uh, what is the delay time delay time i already explained time taken by the response to change the to change from 0 to 50 percent of its final value that is uh, c of t equal to, at t equal to td that is 0 0.5 that is 50 percent td the formula of td is approximately equal to 1 plus 0 0.7 zeta into omega n 1 plus 0 0.7 zeta into omega n
and coming to the uh, formula for rise time rise time already told time taken by the response to reach uh, from 0 to 90 percent 0 to 100 percent 0 to 100 percent for uh, over damped system it is uh, 10 to 90 percent for critically damped system it is 5 to 95 percent and rise time tr equal to pi minus pi by omega d pi minus pi by omega d and peak peak time it is time taken by the response to reach the maximum value that is tp equal to pi by omega d and coming to the maximum or peak overshoot that is mp the mp value mp equal to c of tp minus 1 that is uh, e of exponential power of minus zeta pi by root of 1 minus zeta square zeta pi by root of 1 minus zeta square zeta is nothing but damping ratio and percentage mp percentage mp equal to c of tp minus c of infinity this c of infinity is nothing but final value c of infinity by c of infinity into 100 percent into 100 percent here one important uh, one is one important one is if magnitude of the input is double if input the input given to the system that is the magnitude of input is double the steady state values also double the steady state values also double that then the mp will be double that means if magnitude of input is double the mp value is also double but uh, percentage mp value does not change but percentage mp value does not change that means uh, if magnitude of input doubles mp value will be doubles but percentage mp and rise time and peak times are constant rise time peak time and percentage mp are constant very very important coming to the settling time it is the time taken by the response to reach plus or minus tolerance band plus or minus to tolerance band uh, for 5 5 percent tolerance band settling time equal to 3 by zeta omega n for 2 percent tolerance band it is uh, 4 by zeta omega n zeta omega n and here one of uh, and very very important relations are if zeta increases if zeta increases rise time increases and peak time increases and mp decreases and alpha value increases omega d value increases and stability also increases these are all all related to the formulas of uh, rise, these uh, times okay and simply remember as zeta increases all are increases that means the rise time peak time alpha omega d stability all are increases but mp peak overshoot be decreases peak overshoot is decreases that is for zeta equal to 1 that is the uh, system is critically damped for critically damped as zeta equal to 1 that is mp equal to 0 peak overshoot is equal to 0 so it is a critically damped system zeta equal to 0 means undamped system for undamped system percent mp uh, mp equal to 1 mp equal to 1 here we know that uh, alpha equal to zeta into omega n as zeta increases alpha also increases for omega d omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square as zeta increases omega d increases as zeta increases stability increases okay very very important relations uh, for any psu exams and here uh, i have given one example about uh, all the uh, formulas uh, for all the understanding of the formulas here he has given uh, one system find time domain specification find time domain specification this is a open loop transfer function if we want closed loop transfer function transfer function equal to transfer function equal to out output by input that is c of s by r of s that equal to 1 by s square plus s plus 1 output by input equal to 1 by s square plus s plus 1 that is nothing but uh, here open loop transfer function if you want closed loop transfer function just uh, add 1 to the denominator that is 1 by s square plus s plus 1 it is in the form of uh, omega n square second order system is nothing but in the form of omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square just to compare this with the uh, second order system here uh, in the place of omega n square is 1 that means omega n equal to 1 and in the place of 2 zeta omega n s here in the place of 2 zeta omega n s here is 1 that is 2 zeta omega n s equal to 1 that means if omega n equal to 1 substitute in this uh, omega n th then 2 zeta equal to 1 zeta equal to 1 by 2 and we know that omega d equal to omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square then we can get omega d equal to 
रूट थ्री बाई टू एंड पै पैक्वल टू कास् इनवर्स आफ् जीटा वेरी वेरी इंपारटेंट पैक्वल टू कास् इनवर्स आफ् जीटा दट इक्वल टू पैक्वल टू कास् इनवर्स आफ् जीटा वैल्यू वन बै टू दट इज पैक्वल टू पै बै थ्री पैक्वल टू वन बै थ्री फर् फस्ट आफ आल फर् रईज टाइम टीआर इक्वल टू विनो दट फार्मला पै मैनस पै बै ओमेगा जस्ट सब्स्यूट द वैल्यू पै मैनस पै बै थ्री बै रूट थ्री बै टू दट इक्वल टू फोर पै बै थ्री रूट थ्री अंड फर् टी डी वन प्लस जीरो पाइंट सेवन जीटा बै ओमेगा एन दिस द आसर And here uh, peak overshoot M P equal to exponential of minus zeta pi by root of one minus zeta square. We can get zero point one six three as the answer. And settling time for five uh, percent tolerance span it is three by zeta omega n. That is six seconds. For two percent tolerance band, for two percent tolerance band it is T S equal to four by zeta omega n. That is eight seconds. Eight seconds. Okay, friends. Thank you. In the next video, I will discuss the remaining topics of control systems. Okay. Okay. Thank you.